all right viewers would like to apologize for that poor sound there but all i was saying is good morning and you're welcome to the first show live on gntv the friday morning edition nothing short of quality conversation but i'm not doing this alone yeah annie what's up yeah you're certainly alone. <laughs> you're not left alone <laughs> my name is annie f4 and for and of course we're doing this together we'll bring you the best of information here on this platform you know what is trending right so a lot of things going on in and around us especially from the government side where lawyers are saying um government i'm sorry but you cannot dissolve the uh, gfa mm -hmm. and government says i'm sorry i have dissolved gfa so yeah it's a back and forth very interesting former ministers are talking lawyers are talking meanwhile parliament is also setting aside a committee aside a committee to you know probe the issue of hashtag number 12 um, revelations and um they're also expecting government to come out with explanations of the series of sacks hmm. <laughs> or terminations that has actually come up so far so we're following up definitely is here on gntv and we definitely will bring you all the details details and updates as and when definitely all of these political occurrences happening but today being a friday we'd like to take things a little bit low and have some great conversation with the man who has rebranded to tick yes Dan Tick Tack, now he's calling himself Tick. I'm wondering where the tack has found itself, but that will be find out all of these questions uh, when he joins us in the studio and be having some entertainment conversations uh, as to what exactly is happening with the BT nomination with our guy, Quissy Arthur. So it's a great one right here on the show, as well as our street talk, some motivational quotes, and our newspaper review right here on the first show. All right, so let's take our be motivational message. And the message for you today says that we have this American President Obama born of an African father who is saying we will not give you aid if you don't embrace homosexuality. We ask, was he born out of homosexuality? We need a continuity in our race. And that comes from the woman and no to homosexuality and this is by one of my favorite presidents african president robert mugabe now robert mugabe was born 21st of february 2020 1924 in zimbabwe and former political politician sorry and a revolutionary who served as prime minister of zimbabwe from 1980 to 1987 and then as president from 1987 to 2017 remember how how he was taken out of office yeah yeah cool mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah so he chaired the zimbabwean african national union zenu and group from uh, 1975 to 1980 and led its successor political party in the zanu patriotic front that's the zanu pf from 1980 to 2017. uh so well there's a lot of history about mugabe and you want to read more about this very interesting man mm, interesting quote from him uh what really fascinates me this is a real quote all yeah, like those quotes that have been coming from people and have been attributed to him yeah this yeah. is a real quote. <laughs> I guess this is a real quote coming in from the man himself, Robert Mugabe. So, so somebody came to write on Facebook, I want to go to the washroom by Robert Mugabe. I'm like, seriously. So this is a real one. Yeah, this is a real one. Oh, this yes. is real. This is real. <laughs> yeah, we can't deceive you like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and it's coming in uh, uh, just to fight against homosexuality. Exactly. Africans really are not ready for homosexuality, and he has added his voice to it. But but a quick one. I just want to say a happy birthday to Anyo Sabuti. I I am so sorry to skip me yesterday, but happy birthday uh, to you. He is the PRO for NPA. Happy birthday, my uncle um, and Sam uh, Sami Ajay Manti. Uncle Sam, as we properly call him, Uncle mm. Sam. Happy birthday as well. He's turned 65 yesterday as well. Happy birthday. All right. A very big thank you to Lana Makeovers for my lovely, lovely makeup. And of course, to Accent and Kiss for sponsoring us with lapel pins, with brochures, with everything, anything accessories. It's now time for us to find out what's happening in the newspapers. And oh, I am excited about it already. Let's get into it.
Right, welcome back. And it's time for us to go through headlines, a few headlines for you on the front pages of the various newspapers that we have captured um, on the show. I start off with the Daily Graphic. Daily Graphic says that we're ready to ensure success of one district, one factory by AGI. And um, comes with a picture of Justice William Atugupa. He says that give prosecution documents to accused persons, Supreme Court orders you have to give the prosecution documents to accused person supreme court has ordered now the big one says aftermath of number 12 government to dissolve gfa well it has been and um parliament probes nyantechi others also on the front page of the graphic council the picture of the information minister mustafa mm. but i mean what's what's with this back and forth really uh you know the information ministry came and uh, brought a long statement government taking steps mm -hmm. And now we speak with the sport minister and he says it has already been dissolved. Mm -hmm. uh, the place has been locked up and all of that. But taking steps and already been dissolved. Mm -hmm. Two different things. Well, here. you can begin to take steps. Mm -hmm. And then you get to a point and you think that, okay, we'll dissolve it. So, finally, so I'm sure they started taking steps mm -hmm. and then they got to the point where they thought that, you know what. So it was, it was dissolved guys. later in the evening? Uh, maybe. Because it, it the, the same man came later late, in, the late evening. in the evening. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So wow. It, 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 I mean, at this point, I'm not sure leaders are even sleeping. Mm. If you're sleeping, you're simply heartless. Mm -hmm. Already, mm -hmm. we think you're heartless. <laughs> so, yeah, if you sleep, you're heartless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But the back page says that 1,800 energy efficient street lights to be installed in Accra. And uh, also, Kolibu hospital workers demonstrate over alleged dismissal of Dr. Anya. And they are asking uh, why he has been dis uh, you know, dismissed. Now, authorities are also saying that direct your grievances to the health ministry. Mm -hmm. They are directly in charge of appointment and disappointment you can come straight to the executive but go to the ministry and so let's see how they also go through the situation all right well let's find out what the weekend today has for us uh we have captured some uh, fashion styles and you can see the wife of a plus akusiavi rocking her beautiful uh costume everything red in there and you can see another model fantastic ankara styles you should try and can find out more styles on page four of the weekend today and shocking Ness slaps pregnant woman for making noise during labor. Wow, that can be found on page three of the now, today. Yeah, I trust today for mm -hmm. some stories. Today uh, is very amazing with certain social stories, mm -hmm. and um, it will be very interesting for us to link up with them a lot mm -hmm. of the time mm -hmm. and follow up and you know blow up some of the issues, the issues. because it is annoying. I, I remember when I wasn't well and I was home one time, a friend of mine called me. She visited a hospital mm -hmm. and she had to visit the washroom. The washroom is at the hospital, but you have to pay. pay. Yeah, it happens before you use it the washroom. In most of these private hospitals. Like, wow. Yes, they pay. You know, some of the treatment we're getting. I don't know why we still can't solve that mm. problem from nurses, from doctors, mm. from you know our they pay. service. But I'll get into uh, no. some information in there on page three quickly. I'm reading excerpt of the story. Yeah, a nursing midwife name withheld for now stationed at a Suhum government hospital in the eastern region of Ghana became so angry by the labor noise of a pregnant woman that she resolved slaps were the best solution to shut the patient up. We can today can report the pregnant woman, according to today newspaper sources at the hospital, was bleeding profusely and was in pain, which necessitated her wailing but the nurse didn't take kindly to that hence her resort to slapping the patient the woman after the incident the sources said called her husband and informed him mm -hmm. consequently sources said the husband of the pregnant woman organized and bust prominent family members to the hospital for a citizen arrest and to protest the conduct of the nurse uh, I, I I don't know if producers can actually get out the hmm. editors of the today news of Paletti if maybe uh, in the course of the show mm. how far they have gone because they, they have got the story on the fans page De it's very important that Definitely. We, we, we follow up well still on the weekend mm. president to dissolve gfa uh, they have also so captured that too uh we won't allow such abomination osu bulome i can see his picture uh there and on the back page is some sports world cup countdown the ones to watch for england some fine boys there uh, hey. to watch for the english team <laughs> uh, yes fresh organic coconut milk uh some great uh, fruits for mm -hmm. you to try okay, okay. So let's quickly turn our attention to the Ghanaian Times. Says a fallout from announced number twelve GFA dissolves dissolved. Uh, government orders police probe into widespread fraud, corruption, bribery in Ghana football. And then we also have Ghanaians clamor for resignation of Nyantechi, other football officials. Now let me tell you what. There's a video that's trending of Nyantechi denying allegations of. Uh, 
match fixing mm -hmm. that video is on old video <laughs> so when you see please don't insult him because <laughs> already some people have started this man is shameless this man is please, please, please that video is very old if you like you can check there's a way of checking old videos mm -hmm. and new new but he's spoken right uh, uh, super sport uh, that was a super sport video mm -hmm. but an old video it's it's, it's not it's not current video yet so wow. so please yeah so <laughs> ghana to establish west <laughs> african petroleum hub vip is talking about it and then parliament to set a committee to investigate claims in announcing video mm. but right. yesterday we played right we played against iceland yes it looks like we are not making noise yes um, do we care <laughs> we should care come I don't on care. That's, <laughs> that shouldn't be the end hey please <laughs> You, right should, you should see what's going on on Twitter. As Samoja apparently tweeted, and uh, somebody said, You crowd yeah. must investigate you. <laughs> Your penalty you missed against Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> was it a fake <laughs> All right, so on the front pages of the Chronicle newspaper, we can see a picture of the health minister, Kwekwa Jima Menu, and, and the Chronicle has also captured the nurse who slapped the woman in labor okay. at the Soon Government Hospital. And the ministry has actually launched uh, uh, an investigation into that cruel conduct. Well, we, I, I, I hate hearing the word investigation. <laughs> I just hate it. <laughs> For some reason, in Ghana here, yeah, I don't like you it. You don't like no. it, huh? Well, Parliament to probe GFA over a nurse's expose and Kolebu worker want Anya back. A worker, I must say, mm. wants Anya back. Tread cautiously with appointment of DG for GPHA as he mm. has been sacked. Yeah. Amongst yeah. other scenes. But interestingly, that the, the workers of the company have actually done a very nice farewell, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, activity for the boss. So that that, that was a nice thing to do. They, they all take know. their end of service uh, benefits, they, right? Oh no, yeah, but this one is mm -hmm. like a in, in private, just, private. It's like the company just mm -hmm. doing something small. You have been sacked, mm -hmm. but you know. <laughs> <laughs> for their own, you know. So, um, private doctors battle medical council over Doctor Obinfo. Uh, so he's got a lot of people supporting him. You can find out on page eight of the Chronicle newspaper. I, I heard that story yesterday, mm -hmm. and I really didn't understand. Okay, what are they fighting? Um, or what are they debating on? Mm -hmm. they are, are they protecting him? Or are they what are they? Well, let me quickly read something. Yes, it says the hula balu surrounding the professional uh, competence of Dr. Dominic Obeng Ando of Obenfo Hospital, mm -hmm. who is currently in court over the death of Stacy Ofer Daku, deputy CEO mm -hmm. of National Entrepreneurship Innovative Program, has taken a new turn. Mm -hmm. Though the Ghana Medical and Dental Council has rejected the embattled medical practitioner because he is not qualified, the Private Medical Professional Association has rejected the claim, insisting that Dr. Dominic or being under is a qualified doctor according to the group the assertion that the advanced body sculpt center known as a hospital owned by dr Obeng was not licensed to operate is false and must therefore not be entertained it's, it's false yes well i mean like i said i remember in 2000 and was it 2006 the, the hospital was um asked to renew its license mm -hmm. it's very easy to check some of these things yes. if the health ministry is carrying out its mandates appropriately and defectively this it shouldn't even take two exactly. minutes in checking mm -hmm. just check into your your your, your computer whatever mm -hmm. and check mm -hmm. uh, have they renewed the licenses are they are they actually mm -hmm. licensed as a hospital his documents or his certificate as a professional doctor mm -hmm. is not far-fetched i mean exactly. this is very easy isn't it Okay, so let's quickly move on to the Daily Guide newspaper. France page says that government cautioned over new um, GPHA boss, and then we also have Nyantechi boy demands fifteen million dollar bribe. GFA dissolved. Court chases Galamse Queen shorties. So uh, Asha is still. Hey, she's still <laughs> Asha <there. Mwen>. <laughs> <laughs> She's still in the news. So mm. I don't know. I, I I just wonder what powers this girl is working with, but mm. she's still there. And peace raised concerns over RTI bill. Uh, RTI bill, idiot. Mm. If you don't bring it, that is not uh, how an is going to be is handling you. Yeah. That we have. Mm -hmm. I think the daily dispatch. dispatch okay. Okay. Mm. Quickly, mm. it says that a total of daily dispatch front page a total of. 12 million US dollars, Nyante, cheese value of a Kufuado's government. Yeah, that's how he <laughs> wanted to sell it for. And then we also have all that you need to know about drones. So you've seen that when you, these days when you go for parties and things, you see things hovering around your neck <laughs> or your head. You think it's going to land, but it's not landing. It's just videoing what's happening in the, in the skies. So you want to know about it. You want to grab this part and read. It says, like, please, sorry. Okay, the, this story is the full is on the back page. That's the Nyan mm. issue. But Anna's video, there are grounds for prosecution. Former AG is talking. Yeah, 
I, I think that if I listen to the speaker luminaries, mm -hmm. I, I can I can tell that they are indeed grounds for it. You know, yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So. so we are just waiting for it. This yeah. is an early days yet. Uh, reminded that other people in other uh, regions are yet yeah. to view it. So after that, then we can really see what exactly will happen mm -hmm. afterwards. I'm still waiting for a statement, probably from the office of the special prosecutor. What is he going to do after this? Because mm. this is where t uh, work really yeah. begins. Yesterday I spoke with um, some um, lawyers, mm -hmm. uh, lawyer Eduji, mm -hmm. and, and he stated that because the presidency seems to have been mentioned even in this mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, video, it wouldn't be appropriate for uh, the executive to take it up. Mm -hmm. So it would be good for the um, office. Senior, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, to actually the special prosecutor. I agree with that. To actually take it up. I, I don't know how that's going to go. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, issues of legalities, you need to tread cautiously yeah. and take your time and do. Mm -hmm accurate you know research and and then come to a co conclusion to draw your case if not you will go to court and your case all right so that's all for the newspaper headlines up next is some sport update with our man uh, abdel jalilu ahmed Body and beyond the touch of the way. Welcome back, Abdul Jalilu Ahmed. <laughs> Annie, how are you doing? You know the French uh, president's name? Um, the Macron. current one? Yes. <laughs> Macron. <laughs> it's, it's not Macron. It's Macron. It's Macron. 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 Yes. Oh, okay. I'm sure I'm this, so it's Macron. Macron. I never knew a French teacher. Well, I'm not a French teacher. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm just dealing with how it's supposed to be. So yours is Ahmed. Okay. Pourquoi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pourquoi? <laughs> Like it when you mess up their language. Oh, okay. I remember my SHS. Oh my goodness, yeah, Miss Mrs. Sweet. Goofy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and they were all very. You tiny. always crying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. you're welcome. Hey, fine, what thank do you, you have today? Uh, President of the Republic of Ghana mm -hmm. is thinking of dissolving the Ghana Football Association. Uh, we have reports of dissolved. No, please. So Governments, government to take step to dissolve. Ghana football association. So, so what do we want to go to government and find out? It has it been dissolved or has it not? Because I also know that some lawyers are saying that you cannot do it mm -hmm. because they have some level of autonomy. So you can only lobby. Mm -hmm. Yes, the that's why in the statement official. government did say that it is lobbying with or it is going to, to um, consult CAF and FIFA. They are treading cautiously because they're also following, so it'll be easy for them. Yeah, to sure, they are following. Understand. At this mo at this moment, this CAF crazy. and FIFA is monitoring. Is so that's why. Government did not pinpoint that it has dissolved, dissolved. the Ghana Football Association, but steps taking to dissolve. Okay, so, it so for now we go with the story that it's taking steps. Yes, steps so the reports that it has dissolved, no. we shouldn't take it yet. No, no, please. Not yet. Okay. No. Government to take steps to dissolve Ghana Football Association because the moment the statement stipulates that government has dissolved mm -hmm. Ghana Football Association, it means CAF and FIFA will ban us. Yeah, they, they they can ground us, but uh, that's that's where I think I like. You want <laughs> the football to be dissolved. You, you want yes. Ghana to be banned. Yes. Have you thought of the uh, ramification, the consequences? Uh, Footballers are going to be employed. Hold on, hold on. Football hold people hold are going to be employed. Hold on, hold on. Ghana, we are going to host the Women Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, Our under twenty, they are going to walk up. Uh, 
Our under 17 are going to walk up. Mm. Under 20, uh, they are preparing for under 20 championship. Cost us a 2019 lot. Africa Cup of mm. Nations. Have it, you thought it, of the If it costs you a lot, you stop being corrupt. But has a place <laughs> been locked up? Right. Wait, has a place been locked up? The GFA. No, it hasn't. it hasn't. So it's time for okay. us to enjoy sports <laughs> on the first show. Welcome to Sports Air on the first show. I celebrate your birthday today. Maybe if you are not celebrating your birthday today, but you have a colleague, a brother, a sister who is celebrating his or her birthday today, tell him or her that today he or she shares the day with these renowned sports personalities. Javier Mascarano, formerly of Barcelona, the Argenta International is celebrating his birthday. We have Javier Mascarano on the screen. Javier is 34 today. Jose Antonio Camacho, a former coach player of Real Madrid. This is the Spaniard. Jose Antonio Camacho, he celebrated his birthday today and he's 63 his birthday as well. And Maxi Pereira, Maxi is also celebrating his birthday. And Maxi is 34 today. So in case you are celebrating your birthday today, you share the day with these renowned sports personalities. So we have our birthday guys on this. Happy, happy birthday to them. Now let's start. I'll look at it a bit from the corridors of Ghana Football Association and the president of Ghana Football Association, Lea Kwesin Entity, has reacted to the Anas exposé. Now, according to the president, they edited the video to suit their purposes. Little did I know that they were even undercover investigators on match fixing. During the entire period of the discussion, they never mentioned match fixing to me. They never told me that they wanted us to fix matches of the black stars they never told me that there were people uh, wanting to engage in match fixing so it is strange and news to me that these were people who wanted to do match fixing the video in fact is what we call cut and paste uh, they took out some of the discussions and brought what suited their purpose so for me the intention is clear is to commit mischief and to expose us to public radical slam s drag our name into mud and let us look bad in the eyes of right thinking members of our society what i can say is that this is difficult all right so that was the president of the ghana football association in an interview with super Sport. okay so they edited the video to suit their purposes according to lawyer christine entity elsewhere the president of the republic of ghana is thinking of dissolving the Ghana Football Association. So let's take that press release from the President of the Republic of Ghana. So the headline or the title is Government to Take Steps to Dissolve the Ghana Football Association. Government to Take Steps to Dissolve the Ghana Football Association. Now it reads, Government is shocked and outraged at the contents of this recently aired video documentary which captures the investigation conducted into football administration by the journalist Anas Aramayao Anas, title number 12. When conducted and greed become the norm, the documentary exposes the gross malfunction of the Ghana Football Association, characterized by widespread fraud, corruption, and bribery. As a result of the pervasive nature of the rot within Ghana Football Association, government has decided as follows. Number one, the conduct of all officials of the Ghana Football Association, together with that of the suspended acting director general of the National Sports Authority, Robert Safu Mensah, shown in the documentary, to be involved in questionable, potentially criminal acts is forthwith referred to the police for further investigation and appropriate action. The police are to take all such relevant measures as are necessary to ensure that the contents of the documentary are rapidly and thoroughly investigated. Number two, having regarded to the widespread nature of the uh, apparent rots involving top GFA officials, top national sports authority officials, match commissioners, football administrators and referees, government has decided to take immediate steps to have the Ghana Football Association dissolved. So government has taken immediate steps to have the Ghana Football Association dissolved. Government will shortly thereafter announce provisional measures to govern football activity in the country until a new body is duly formed. And number three, government will communicate these decisions to the Confederation of Africa Football and the Federation of International Football Associations FIFA and engage with them on these developments to chart a way forward for Ghana football 
government will see to it that the necessary reforms are urgently undertaken to sanitize football administration in the country, signed by Honorable Mustafa Abdul Hamid, PhD. Yeah, Minister. So the government of the Republic of Ghana has spoken. But yesterday, Black Stars engaged Iceland in a friendly encounter. Let's look at those players who started the game for our senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana. We have the lineup on the screen. So starting the game for the Black Stars, in goal post was goalkeeper Lawrence Atizigi, and the year them was in action for Black Stars, Lungmo, Abenyenu, Nuhu, Kasim, Opoku Nicholas, Joseph Atamalawe, Thomas Tepate, Nana Ampoma, Edwin Jesse, Emmanuel Boatin, and Raphael Jamena. Alright, so these are the players who started the game for our senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana. A gentle reminder, last night, Black Stars played against Iceland. Iceland is part of the countries that are going to participate in 2018. FIFA World Cup in Russia. Let's enjoy highlights of that game. Sigurdsson, Gilfi Sigurdsson, el pase del de Everson, lindo por la derecha, llega Gudmundsson, hacia adentro, media vuelta, Fimbo Gazón, justo metió el pie poco, la hicieron bárbaro los islandeses en esta, Dudo gana atrás, cerca el primero, bien por Gudmundsson que es zurdo pero aquí, el centro de Gudmundsson, pelota que llega al área, cabezazo, gol, Arnason, gol, Que no marca muy atento porque el que venía lanzado libre se llevó algunas marcas. Sigurdsson, Biarnason, el taco, Sigurdsson que bien la hizo, está. Fimbo que gol. Gol. Tisigi, un rebote corto y un gol muy fácil de concretar para quien venía así acompañando la jugada. Fimbo Gasson. Cuando se dispone a atacar Islandia muestra casi mete otro. Una vez más. La persecución entre zonal e individual. La pelota hacia el área, el rebote, no jugó. Gol. Gol de Gana, durmió el fondo de Islandia en esta. Nuju marca el descuento para el equipo africano. Está ganando Islandia ahora 2 a 1. No, fue un punto débil en. En el área a nivel defensivo para Ghana, pero también lo es para Islandia. No la puede tocar. Panatisigi volando para la foto, el arquero. Para Ghana. Este es el tiro libre del sur. Gol, gol, parte. Gol de Ghana. Parte y el capitán, el mejor, lo empata. Estaba 2 a 0 Islandia, arriba lo empató Ghana. 2 a 2. Bueno, Tache lo que le había dicho de Halgrinson, que se va a ir con algo que lo tenía preocupado el entrenador islandés porque le llegaban y le convertían mucho en los amistosos anteriores. Muy buen desborde de Achampón. Mucha gente en el área, pero nadie tomando marcas. Centro so, preciso. Y... That was what transpired between uh, the senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana, and Iceland. Now, Iceland, their national team is known as our boys. So, our boys of Iceland versus. The senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana, at the end of the entire duration, the scoreline was Black Stars 2, Iceland 2, Kasim Nuhu and Thomas Tepati of Atletico Madrid in the Spanish La Liga scored the two goals for our senior national team, the Black Stars of Ghana. Black Stars is not part of the countries that are going to partake in 2018 for World Cup, but for Iceland, they are World Cup participants. So they are going to feature in 2018 football, Mundial in Russia, all the best to um iceland so 2-2 two -two was the scholar at the end of uh, the entire process now straight to some nba matters game four will be on tomorrow but lebron james has been asked about the effect and the consequences of a super team